Hey guys, I'm Maddie Matt. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome, welcome. I really appreciate it. I really like that you have joined. Um, for today's video, we are going to be testing out, even though I kind of tried it, but uh, it was requested, so I figured that, hey, why not? So I'm going to be testing the new Jacqueline Cosmetic Blush Duo and her Accent Highlighter. So if that's of interest to you, stick around and enjoy the show. Right, guys so I like I said I am testing out well I kind of tried it so I'm kind of cheating a little bit if that makes sense but I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion so I have like I said the duo this is the pink me up and oh honey the pink me up is the blush and the oh honey is the bronzer and then I got the highlighter and highlighter oh my god I can't even speak today and awestruck because I'm awestruck you know Okay, so I don't have any blush or highlighter on my face. I do have bronzer. Um, the reason why I did add a bronzer is because I this is not my shade for the bronzer. By the way, this is what it looks like. I like the aesthetics. It's really cute. It's really Jacqueline, obviously. Um, so again, this is what it looks like in the inside. Oops. Here it is. All right, so... So, like I said, the reason why I am not applying this bronzer is because this is not my shade. This is a little bit too light for me. As you can see, it's, it's too, yeah, it's too fair for my skin, obviously. I don't even think the camera can pick that up. Let me just, yeah, you see what I'm saying? And obviously, um, according to um, her the descriptions, it says that basically these are all buildable. So, it looks like it will start off, like, very, very light, and then it would be... Um, I guess more in depth tone like as you apply more and more so obviously like I said we'll go ahead and test out this blush so hand using my handy dandy Mac what number is this Mac 168 SE this was from like one of the uh I think it was like the Valentine's collection I can't remember but yes this is a brush that I will be utilizing so I'm just dipping in here and as you guys can see it is very 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 powdery you know um yeah let's test it out here so i'm just going in circular motions here to test it all let me see can you guys see anything um i could barely see anything yeah all right so i'm going back in and as you, you guys see that look at that and literally, I'm literally going in lightly. And then look how much powder of blush is coming out. That's one thing I don't like. So again, let's see, because it's buildable. Okay, here it is. Now it's showing. Okay. All right. So cute little rosy cheeks. That's how I like it. I don't like too much um, crazy red, I mean, pinkness on my cheek. And with this look, obviously, if you guys, by the way, if you guys are interested in this look, I will be linking it down in the description below. Well, not linking it, but... You know what I mean. Type it down in the, the, the description below if you guys are interested to know what I use for this look. I really like this look, by the way, guys. So, okay, here we go. See, I don't like that it keeps falling. You see that? All right, stay up. All right, next cheek. Okay, obviously, I have to build it. Dipping it again. Okay, and that's as far as I would go with my blush, because I don't need any more. Okay, let me just make sure that it's kind of even now. All right. I feel like I need a little bit more here. All right, so let's just see this. So that's what it looks like on my finger. And then let's see. Yeah, you can't really see it, obviously, so there's no point of really swatching it, so that's that and okay not bad it's not a bad I, like i really do like this color by the way this is like the type of blush that i go for um nice and rosy and cheeky and yeah i like that color so let's go ahead and try her um um accent highlighters i got the mini one and i got it like a uh in the shade axe awestruck it's very little very cute um i like the aesthetics very jacqueline hill obviously compared to her blushing oh my god 
<sighs> so that is what it looks like. Okay, so when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It has a little mirror. It's very, very cute. I will be using my um, Luxie 522 Taper Highlighter Brush that looks like this. Again, I'm going to go in lightly. And then just go above my cheekbones. And that's not enough for me. So again, I would have to build it. Because I like, I like a good glow, good, you know, highlight. There we go. Now it's showing. There we go. So it looks like you have to dip it in like two times. After, you know, like you apply it and dip it again to get it to my kind of look. Which is not bad. Okay, here we go. Sorry guys, my dog is all over the place today. There we go. I'm on the tip of my nose. And then a little bit on my chin. And there you have it. This mirror is kind of too little, to be perfectly honest. Oh, hi. Hi. You want some makeup, too? You want makeup? Because <laughs> my dog wants to wear makeup or something. <laughs> okay. All right, so... This is what it looks like. Hope it's picking up on the camera. All right. So that was pretty much that. Um, I'm going to give my honest opinion, guys. Um, I know it's a buildable type of um, product. But given the fact that it's like Jaclyn Hill... Um, I was expecting a little bit more, I guess, on the highlighter aspect because she loves a glowy highlighter. Like, she's very, like, classy, elegant, you know, and... Uh, hi. Oh, hi. You're not gonna let me record today? Sorry. <laughs> guess he's not gonna let me record today. All right, sit down. Sit. Good boy. So, yeah, so, um, it's okay and you know it's okay it's not the greatest it's not like my holy grail it's not my go-to as far as my blushes i do love the uh Ciate london um what's an, the natasha denona what's my other blushes that i like my mac of course you know and as for highlighters i do like my becca and i do like my mac and i do like my ofra so this won't be a go-to to be perfectly honest unfortunately i mean i i was expecting a little bit more and i get it um you know, based on the description, based on what was said, for, you know, it says that it's a, a buildable, flawless blend. And, I, I, you know, I can agree. I mean, it's, it's, it looks nice. It looks nice and even, the texture, but I feel like I had to, you know, go in and build and build. And, you know, that's not something that I personally enjoy. So... This retails for $36. Another thing that I didn't like it was how like powdery and chalky it is. I mean, like, look at this. My mirror's already dirty. Like, what is that? You know? Like, now I'm gonna have to wipe it down. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, like the packaging is cute. This, you know, for no reason. You see that look? Falls for no reason. Um, for $36, I was expecting a little bit more uh the mini highlighter it's cute you know i like that it has a little mirror um this one as well it looks yeah this one retails for 16 dollars um yeah i mean that's pretty much all i can say i mean it's okay it's not something i would wear every day if that makes sense um I know that she's had a lot of mishaps, so I know she's very, like, cautious as to, like, when she drops and what she drops. I know she's taking a huge step right now because she is going to be dropping some lipstick, and we all know the controversy behind her lipstick. So, I will be trying that because I want to see because I heard great things as to her products, you know, when she first launched her lips. Not the ones that were <laughs> messed up, but when she relaunched them, I guess, or whichever one, the ones that were not messed up. Um, she, people said great things about it. So I really want to know what, you know, what her lipsticks, you know, have in store for us. So that is pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.